we're going to look at return values, which is 4.8. They do a lot more uh, in the book, a lot more mathy examples. We're going to stick to time here instead. And I wrote a new print time method that takes an integer and a string. And the first thing you should be thinking is, well, how in the world do you have two print time methods? Well, they're actually different. The first one takes an int, int, string. The second one just takes int and string. And so there's a different, the arguments are different. So these two are actually different methods. And when I call print time, uh, you can see it highlighted right here. How does Java know that I want this print time and not this print time? Well, it's very easy. Just there's an integer and a string. So it matches this, what's called signature. So this is called the signature of the method. If I just go uh, three comma, now all of a sudden we're up at the top print time. So I want to run this print time and go ahead, run it with F6. And I just gave it a string here. So it prints out the value of minutes and then it adds or concatenates this word since and I'm going to put a couple spaces in so it looks nicer down here. And then it prints out the whatever the value of the string you sent in and puts a period at the end and make it a complete sentence. So there we go. Now it looks a little bit better. All right, these are all void methods right here. Void means not returning anything. So let's go ahead, public static. I can't tell you what static means yet. Uh, but we're going to write a method that's no longer a void method. So this is going to be called get hours, and it's going to take a number of minutes. And hours, uh, we better say it's an int. So we got int hours equals whatever minutes is divided by 60. And then we're going to take the hours value and return it. So what that lets us do over here, and I'm going to call it a different name, elapsed hours equals get hours, and we're going to send it minutes. Okay. So it's going to take our minutes value. It's going to send that value up here. And then it's going to divide it by 60, assign it to hours. And then that value is going to be returned. And where is it returned to? Right here. So this whole thing is going to turn into the value that's returned. And so we're going to get elapsed hours that way. All right, let's go ahead and run this. So we sent it 123, which is over two hours. Uh, but remember, we divide integers. We just get an integer, two hours since I woke up. Now I want to get the minutes also. It's going to be similar to this. So we're going to duplicate Control Shift down. And I'm going to modify it get minutes. And here we're going to do that modulo operation. And let's call this, uh, we're actually going to do this in one line. I don't need to create anything. We can actually on one line just return the result of minutes modulo 60, which is the remainder when you divide by 60. here, control shift down. Now you should see the, oh, you won't see the highlight until we go here. So now you should see that yellow highlight up there on line 26. So you know it's getting the right method there, not the get hours, but the get uh, minutes. So we're going to go Change the formatting a tiny bit. So 
So we got elapsed hours, elapsed minutes, and you can see it highlighting nicely right there. Uh, now this line is getting kind of long. So there's a few options. You could break your print statement across two lines like this. Uh, and I did it right around the plus. I could run that. Uh, now we still have that issue right there. Um, you can do the print F instead. And uh, let's try, let's just go with three, see what we get. Uh, so we got right there, zero hours, three minutes, 305, and we get five hours, five minutes. All right, so that's how to use some return values. And again, instead of going with void, you put int right here. And if you do not have a return, you're going to have problems. Job is going to tell you, NetBeans is going to tell you missing return statement because you promised an int, but you didn't return anything. And that control slash toggles comments and not comments.